Yeah, what's up guys? Just wanted to do a quick uh, Metal Mail Monday kind of thing here last minute. I uh, got a couple packages in the mail. We got a little one here, another little one here. And I'm going to start with this guy right here because he got the big pizza box from, uh, I believe his name is Florian in uh, Dying Victims Productions. Good label up in Germany, I think it is. Drinking a little bit of... Lost in Orbit, Nickelbrook Brewery, good shit. All right, getting right into it. Boss, open this guy here. Lots of good stuff in here. I will show each one to you guys. Been, this came pretty quick uh, to Canada from Germany. I think it took, uh, including weekends, 10 days. I think it was. Not too bad at all, in the slightest opens up like a pizza box Ooh, we got lots of bubble wrap I'll turn this down a little bit. You see my cat's litter box and my girlfriend's makeup table but that's okay okay first things first you know what fuck it we're going back up there we go so we got first things first Let's see if you can see this. Oh, it's a little thing. There we go. Without any reflections. Uh, this is a EP by a band called Parish. Uh, it's like proto doom style, um, heavy metal, old school heavy metal, kind of hard rock called God's Right Hand. It's only out on CD right now, from what I am aware. Um, the LP is being done by uh, Crypt of the Wizard, I think it is, which. Um, it's another good store, I think, in the UK. Up next, we got a couple of uh, cassettes. All right, we got. I don't know if you guys ever heard of these guys. Heavy Sentence. I can't really get it to focus without being reflective. But, uh, this album's called Bang to Rights. I believe it's their debut. Another UK band. Uh, if you see in the back, there's a little button in there too. It's going to go on the coat or the vest. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but a uh, little button here. Yeah, that's just pure reflection. A little heavy sentence button. Came on a black tape. Black tape, red lettering. Cool, cool, cool. All right. It's bang to rights. Heavy sentence. I don't know if I mentioned the name of that there. It's a little more focused. Cool. So we got Parish. We got heavy sentence. We got another cassette here. This is a band called Vulture. So we can get the focus. Deal and Death. Sick album cover. Uh, album cover is actually the reason why I checked this album out. Again, you know, I love this about uh, Dying Victims Productions. They throw buttons in the back of these things. So I'll open this thing up here real quick. Jesus Christ. Drop it on the ground. Got a little Vulture pin going on my vest. Right on. We got a white tape. Basic stuff. Pretty sweet. I'm trying to collect more tapes recently. Um, Vulture is like a speed metal, um, yeah, speed metal, heavy metal, old school, fast and loud kind of band. All right. Awesome. He. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't know if he shipped this. I did not order this album. That's a good one. We got Insane Victims. I've seen a picture of this. Never ordered it. I didn't order it though. That's a little worrying. Let's see what's up. I don't know if that's just a damaged sleeve or something or any, what happened. Yeah, it's uh... <laughs> I think you might have just threw that in there. There's no record for it. Cool stuff. We got one of my all-time faves right here. He busted open the shit. Busted open just the shrink wrap for me. Boom. There it is. So much reflection in here. Sorry. Guys, I can't find a good angle here. Crystal Logic. Manila Road. Classic. If you know, you know. It's got some bunch of shit in here. This is the new pressing. What else we got? What's this? Oh, nice. A little band photo. Cool, cool. 
So I'm thinking he just threw in this. I think it was, um, it's a sleeve for an LP, but uh, I don't know. I didn't order that album, so I think it's just an extra that he chucked in there. He's tons of extras I've ordered from him in the past. Threw in a ton of stickers for me. Good guy over there. What else we got? A High Roller Records. Um, I think it's a little... Uh, advertisement um, oh yeah it's a couple just pamphlets for the new uh, represses they're doing I think yeah all right let's see anything else in this record this is um, restored roadster master the ultimate audio file edition of this eternal classic high roller records it's on gold vinyl too I don't even think I remember that we got a bunch more Oh man, does this come with a poster too? Let me back up a little bit. <laughs> Holy shit. Yo, that is nice. Oh man, I'm on a wire here, but there you go. Album cover poster. That's pretty dope. Cool stuff. I love when they put that kind of stuff in the LPs. I'm paying 40 bucks for it. Cool that they can throw in extra shit like that. What else we got? Holy smokes, they packed this thing full of stuff. Just a couple more, uh, what is it? High Roller Records inserts. We got um, another band pick here. Oh, it's the Lyric Sheet Classic. Alright, that's wicked though. Poster, Lyric Sheet. Looks like we got like a postcard style band shot, a couple pamphlets. Man, that's sweet. Let me throw that all back in there and we'll move on. Alright. Here's the actual record itself, it looks like. Oh, but word, he threw the... <laughs> I forgot the... Um, I think that both tapes and the Parish CD come with the sticker as well. So, good stuff there. More extras, like I mentioned. Here's the record. Nice, just plain old gold. Not a huge fan of gold, but I think that was the only pressing they had on the website, if I'm not mistaken, but I'll take it. Gold's cool. They can never really make gold look uh, like it should in fucking final form, I guess. But, uh, yeah, not bad. Throw this guy away. Nice outer sleeve he came with. Wicked. Cool, let's keep going. What else we got in here? Man, I've been looking for this one for a while. I think it's a, a repress? I don't know. Yeah, the Furious debut by the Epic Heavy Metal Outfit from Salt Lake City, Utah. Boom. Visigoth. I can't get this thing to not reflect. But, uh, there it is. Revenant King. Super sick heavy metal album. This one's sealed. He looks like he didn't open this one even. Yeah, old school heavy metal, or it's the new wave of traditional heavy metal, I think is the full acronym. You want them, or whatever they call it. Um, let's see, this looks like a 2LP. I gotta see if I can bust this open here. Because I don't know if it specified what, if this was just black or what. But I will pop it out, and we'll see. If I can get it open, there we go. Well, how he did it so clean on the Manila Road one. Well, let's get in there. Must have used a knife. I have a knife. Why don't I do that? Break down the open part there. Don't want to slice any of the actual sleeve. There we go. There we go. Sick. Let's see what is in store anything like Manila Road, we're gonna have some good extras in here maybe. Shout out High Roller Records, that was super nice of them. All that stuff in there. The records are inside, so I gotta take the... Maybe it gets to be less reflective. Oh yeah, there you go. Super cool album cover, again, one of the reasons why I check out certain albums. They got nice art on there, you gotta appreciate a good album artist. It's a gatefold, we got, looks like just 
black, I think, which is cool with me. I don't mind that. Yep. Regular black. Two LPs. I'm just going to keep them out for now. See if there's anything else in here. Oh, yeah. No way. Is this a poster, too? <laughs> Holy shit. Yep. Alright, I'm backing up again to the limit. This one's huge. The limit of my headphone wire. Oh, nutty. <laughs> this is sick. Hold on a sec. Let me, uh, get the back here. Oh, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to fit this whole thing in here. Oh, here it is in uh, top half to bottom half. Yo, that is wicked. Super nasty. I gotta see how big that is. Maybe toss it in a frame. Holy shit. That is awesome. Alright. Good stuff. Thanks, Visigoth. I love the extras you guys put in here. Great album. Sick poster I'll probably hang. Because that was pretty classy. I think this is the thing back in. There we go. Okay, sauce that aside. Alright, what's up next? These are the LPs for Visigoth. Alright. This is. Alright. Is that the end of it? Pretty sure. Yeah, I think so. Alright. Bunch of stuff in the front here, but if you can kind of see. Oh yeah, here's our heavy sentence sticker. Bang to rights for the tape. And also in the front of this one is a fucking sweet vulture sticker. That's the swinging axe or the guillotine. And then we got... This album is the last one in the box. Significant point. Speed metal from Japan. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely fun as hell. Awesome. Came with a patch. So that's going on the vest, I think. Into the Storm. Sweet ass art. This was the bundle edition, I think it was. So it comes with a poster as well. I got three posters from these I didn't expect. I might have said on the website, but I uh, missed it. Sweet Blood Red Vinyl. Spin that guy later. It's actually, it's over here. And we got inside the plastic. The cover, and this is super sick. And I just dropped a bunch of stuff. Alrighty. This looks like lyric sheet. Yep. Some dudes on the front, it's the band. Classic heavy metal style band shot. Awesome sticker. Into the storm. Ooh, postcard. I got a couple of those now. I love the art on this band, it's so sick. Bunch of dudes shooting a giant dragon griffin, maybe. Maybe griffin. We got another poster here. Let's see this one. I think it's just the cover art, if I remember correctly. I remember looking at this one specifically. And the thing, I, only thing I dropped was the download code, so... Into the Storm comes with a download code, if that's what you're here for. If someone, wa if someone wants a download code, I can... Shoot a comment in the bottom and I'll, uh, I'll send it your way. I don't use them too often, so... I'll give someone who wants it... Throw a comment in the bottom here, if you're watching this. Right on! Cool. Again, hard to kind of get the right angle here without it reflecting a whole bunch, but you guys get the point. I think that's pretty awesome of them to do. Alright, so that's my order from Dying Victim Productions, DVP, Dying Victims Productions, I think it was. Got Heavy Sentence on tape, Vulture on tape, Parish, God Rights Hand tape, Significant Point, LP. stuff now. No. Visigoth, Revenue King, LP, my camera keeps not focusing, that's okay. You saw it already. I got the bonus Insane Victims, just the LP cover, nothing in here. 
maybe it was damaged or something in a return and he just threw it in there. I gotta check this album out still. Thanks for that though. And of course, classic. If you, if you never really dabbled in old school heavy metal too much, start right here. This is it. Crystal Logic by Manila Road. Super sick album. Classic. Vocals can be a little hard to get into, but you can do it. I believe in you. You can do it. Alright, up next, we're gonna go with this one I haven't opened yet. It's from. I don't know if I can show how much of this. I'll show the cool stamps, maybe. These are Russian stamps. The homie, uh, what's his name? Anton Yurinko in Russia. Thrash Patcher, I think is what he goes by. Which gives away what's in this package a little bit. I'm gonna dump them out here and I'll show them one by one. Oh, yeah. Big old bag. Cool. Some of you watching might know, some of you probably don't. I got a battle vest going on. Well, not a battle vest, but a sleeveless cutoff denim jacket with some patches I like to throw on there. I keep looking at my other monitor, it's where my camera is, so if it looks like I'm looking off into the space. That's what I'm doing. I keep forgetting to look at the webcam. Man, this is taped up real good. If you're in Canada and you like a nice IPA, fruity hoppy, check these guys out. Again, Lost in Orbit, Nickelbrook, good beer. I cannot get this tape off though. I'll save my life. Alright. Still isn't really coming out too well, but I got the most of them. Alright. Boom. Number one. Patch. Super sick. Caius. 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 I think it's Caius. That's some sludgy Stoner Doom. Queens of the Stone Age, I think, is. Uh, the main guy behind that one. I don't even know his name, but good stuff. Classic Stone and Rock. Uh, right here we got At the Gates. Just released a new record, actually. Haven't listened to it yet. But, uh, you know, Slaughter of the Soul, man. Ooh, great album from those guys. This is a pretty wicked looking one. We got Havoc. Time is Up. Great album. That's the main reason why I bought this patch. Got a little bit of art from that. Oh, look at this. Who's that? Who's that man? Who's going on my back? Oh no. Could it be? These guys? Oh it is! Look at that! Middle of the road! Cool, cool. A little crossover thrash, Iron Reagan, good fun stuff. Off uh, a couple guys from Municipal Voice in there. Good stuff, fun stuff. And of course we got the last but not least, of course, this member. These are pretty wicked patches. Here you go. A um, little plug for Thrash Patch here. That's where I got those from. Based in Russia. It took uh, about a month. Just over a month. To get to my house in Canada. Not too bad. Last but not least, got a package from uh, CDN Records. Canadian Records, I think. CDN. Uh, label in Quebec and Canada. I already opened this one because I couldn't wait. It came a bit earlier than the other ones, but uh, two cassettes here by a old school, or sorry, new wave of traditional heavy metal band called Haunt. We got uh, which one here? This reflection is killing me. Luminous Eyes. It's an EP. Pretty wicked. It's on a black tape. And if Icarus could fly, another one. Pretty sweet round tape kind of weird but I'm excited to, to pop these in my uh, tape deck give them a listen I got a bunch of tapes trying to like I said trying to get into tapes more there's four new tapes nice and cheap like eight to ten bucks a tape it's super sick versus LPs at like 30 40 bucks sometimes good stuff now that about does it um, thanks for watching if you've made it this far I uh, appreciate it um, yeah stay tuned for more uh, kind of stuff like this Shout out to Dying Victims Productions, Thrash Patcher, CDN Records, Middle Road, Vizgoth, all those guys, Vulture, Bangerites, all good music. See you later.